Welcome to the channel. It's puzzle time again with a new case with Sudoku Sleuth. Now, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's shorts with this new game, Sumplete, that I'm adding to the channel. And, you know, I particularly enjoyed it because it's just a new format of a puzzle and not something that I've seen before. I don't know about you, but I've always struggled with any sort of word puzzles like crosswords or Wordle. So just having something that's numbers based is uh, fantastic. Now, one more change for today's video is the addition of an outro at the end. Do stick around and see if you're uh, and see it. But if you're already off and racing to complete this puzzle, just feel free to jump to the end and have a look and let me know what you think. Now, today's puzzle, Woolendo by Dodos. Now, I admit I'm approaching with a little bit of apprehension. And when I read the rules to you, you'll realize why particularly after yesterday's struggle with the puzzle that I had, where it really felt a lot simpler than I made it seem. Now, on this channel, we are often solving Sudoku variants, meaning they're Sudoku puzzles with a twist. So that allows us to fit in a grid that's completely devoid of numbers. Now, Dodomos has continued the usual tradition on this channel by giving us zero digits in the grid. I can just about see why it's being called wool and dough. You know, so wool, you can almost see what feels like weaving patterns with these lines. But dough, I'm not entirely sure, if I'm honest. Maybe the rules for today will help us. So let's take a look at those. Standard Sudoku rules applies, which means we need to place a digit one through nine in every row, column, and box. The board has different current lines on it. The two cells connected by the lines may be one of the following four cases. Sum is five, we've seen these as V, or sum is 10, we've seen these as X, making the X V. Difference is one, white crop key dot. Ratio is one to two, black crop key dot. Now here's the bit that makes me a little bit apprehensive about today, in that it doesn't actually tell us what the color lines are. So we have to deduce which ones are a V, which ones are an X, which ones are a white crop key dot, and which ones are a black crop key dot. And I just don't feel like there's enough information on the grid to help us, but you know, we are up for the challenge, we are gonna figure this out. Now, one more thing it says is not all lines are given identity are given, yet yeah, we know that, identical pairs are directly connected by one color line. So example, two and three are connected by a line with a difference of one, and they are not connected by a line with a sum of five. So that's helpful. So if this is, for example, a difference of one, it means we're not going to see two and three paired up together to create a combo of five. That's all the rules we have for today's puzzle. As usual, if you want to Play it along. Link is in the description down below. Do let me know how you got on in the comments as usual, please. I enjoy reading them immensely. And with that said, let's restart the clock and get on with solving today's puzzle. So I'm drawn to... So essentially, we need to try and figure out what each of these four different color lines mean. Either it's a V, X, black, or white crop key dots. And I'm immediately drawn to the V cells, as in they sum up to five. Because if you think about summing up to 10, there are four options. So if you look around this, the, you know, you can probably take a look, well, probably not red because we're gonna to need to repeat a digit, but Orange absolutely could be, green could be, there's so many options. But five stands out because we can only have two of them in a box and you can only ever join two cells to make a five. So let's go through that and illustrate what I mean. So I'm immediately drawn to boxes three and six where there's the lines are just immensely connected. So let's think about blues for a second. These could be two, three, for example, this could be one, four, and the same can be true in here. So blue is an absolutely valid five. Now, if I look at green, 
because of box 5, there is no way that these four separate cases could add up to five. So if you do one, four in here, two, three, what are these going to be? Because you're going to end up repeating digits in the box. So we know green is not it. And when I was talking to explain my logic, I said red couldn't be it either, because if this pair is a five, that would require another one, four in here to allow these to add up to five as well. And the same is true for orange. That would need to be a 1-4, that would need to be a 1-4, because, you know, there are three that are connected, so it's not orange. So by the process of elimination, not green, not orange, not red, 5 can only be on blues. And we can immediately pencil in all of these. They are 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm looking at box three now, around what these red lines could be. So if we think about the options, so what we have left is summing up to 10, which this couldn't work because you're not gonna have two digits below five, sum up to 10. So that's not an option. Difference of one, doesn't work either because if you take a look at these two cells they're going to have to be somehow connected to this quadruple set so five could absolutely join a four but then what will be the other cell because one two three and four are gone so the only other way that would work would be a zero and a one and that's clearly going to be broken because we can't have a zero it'll also be broken because the four has to be joined with a one um, two, three, and then you'd end up with either a four or a two repeated. So it's not summing up to 10. It's not one adjacent. So that means it can only be a ratio of two. Now we need a ratio of two that is not from one, two, three, or four. That leaves only six and eight as an option. Meaning these two cells are not one or two. And these two cells are not three or four. And you can see this works. So one with a two, absolutely fine. Three with a six or four with an eight. All of that's possible. I'm looking down here next. Should I jump boxes? I'm just, I'm just wondering if there's more for this box to give. So we know these cells are from five, seven, or nine. So the option that's left was summing up to 10, which this couldn't possibly do, that would repeat, and we've got three digits above five. So these have to be adjacent cells, as in a difference of one. And it's either five, six, seven, or seven, eight, nine. In any scenario, we need to have a seven in here, and that's not a seven. Now we've figured out almost all the lines except for green, and that's we've essentially used up everything except sums up to 10. So this has to sum up to 10, so that means that's from 6, 7, 8, or 9, 6, 7, 8, or 9, and so on and so forth. And that's all the colors determined. Just looking at box 5, so if these all sum up to 10, question to ask for ourselves now is where would five go because you can't place five in the same box on a domino that needs to add up to 10 because you'd have to repeat the five so five and finally after six minutes we've placed our first digit that's a five and we can fill these in this is from six seven eight or nine but remember it's on a black crop key dot so this can only be six or an eight joined across by a 10 so this is two or four two or four means this is on a black crop key means this is not three therefore this is not two 
In fact, we know this is not one either because it's a black crop key, so six is three, eight is four. Three or four means four is not possible here. One and two means we need to have a two on one of these. It's either a one, two pair or a two, four pair. And over here, this has to be from one and three, joint with a seven or nine. I feel like we should be able to eliminate more of the options, but let's see if there's anything else we can do. Take a look at this set of three down here. So with black crop key dots, the maximum you can use three and sixes is essentially on two cells. Otherwise, you'd repeat it, three, six, three, or indeed because this is a three, two sixes. So that's not three. We can take this a step further. This is not one either, because if you put a one in here, you would require two and two again. So that's one. So this is two, four. This is from one, three. And this is from one, two, four, and eight. Five, seven. We know this is from five, seven, nine. Is the remaining triplet that's not placed. We're left with a six, eight, and a five, seven, nine cell, which we know nothing about in box six. So my eyes are now drawn to boxes one and two. In particular, row one in here. You see, We've got a one, two pair, but somehow these three cells, these two cells have to be multiples of two or whatever is in here. So we know one and two are not an option. Three, four, six, and eight are all options, but it immediately restricts that none of these can be a one because two is not available. It's gone in here. So this can be two and four, this could be two and four. Without a one, neither of these can be a four. That's gone as an option. Can this help us? Can these help us next? I've got a triplet I can see in row two that I'm sure will help. Let's just take a look at these next. So these have to add up to 10. So they are from eight, seven, and six. And same is true in here because we eliminated the one, yep. Eight, seven, or six, or six, seven, or eight. This is an adjacent cell. Right, let's take a look in here. So that's from one, two, or three, seven, or eight, or nine to make up 10. This is adjacent, which it clearly is. You're adding a one onto this digit. Ah, there we go. We've got an hour break in that I'm hoping will really help us. So this is on a black crop key dot, as in it has to be a ratio of two. Clearly seven, can't put 3.5, can't put 14 in here, and nine can't be 4.5, can't be 18. So this has to be an eight, joined with a two to make up a 10, a three to make up a five, a six to be a ratio of two, a seven to be a difference of one away, a nine, and a four. And we're left with one and five to place in box one. Now, more importantly, I'm sure this is helping us. Yep, absolutely. Three, four, one, two, three, six, eight. Remember, I said this is either five, six, eight, which it isn't. Sorry, five, six, seven, which it isn't, or six, eight, nine, which it is. So there is no five in here. It's a seven, nine pair, and the five has to go in there. Uh, this is not six or seven. This has to be an eight. Um, across a line to a ten, this has to be a two, three. This has to be from one or four. One is gone, this is a four. 
fact, the 1 and 5 we could have placed even earlier. That's a 9. Complete the row, we need 1 and 7, I believe. And to complete this row, we need 5 and 6, it seems. Beautiful puzzle so far. This one tells us this is a 2, uh, 3, 4, 6, and you can see that working. That's a multiple of 2, that sums up to 10. Multiple of 2, that's lovely. 4, 1, 9, this unwinds the 7 and 9 that we have up here. 5 and, sorry, 7 and 9 eliminate both two of the three options, so that's a five. The one tells us there is no one in here, so that's a two, four, eight set with four in the middle. And these have to be from two and eight. This has to be the one. This is a seven, nine pair. Seven, nine tells us this has to be the eight. Seven and nine tells us to pair up with something that adds up to a 10, can't be a 9, 1 is gone, so this is 3, this is 7, this has to be 6, that's a 9, and we're left with a 5, which unusually we're actually able to do here, because you can place two 5s to get a 10, as they don't see one another, 6, this has to be a 4, adjacent, that means that's a 6. These lines, you know, this has to be from 2 or 4 with 1, 2, 4, 8. But this 2 tells us this is a 4 joined by a 2, 8. We don't know the order of these, I don't think. Not seeing anything. This also tells us this is a 2, 4. So if you think about it, if this is 3, 6, neither, aside from the fact that it's gone in the column, these two cells do see each other. So we can't put 3, 6 back to 3, and clearly because of these as well. So this is 2 or 4. This 4 tells us is a 2. Uh, we need 1 and 4 in here. This 1 tells us that's the order. That 1 tells us that's a 7. That's the 1. This 5 tells us that's the 6, that's the 5. The first three boxes are done. Um, adjacent to the 4, we need a 3, 5 pair. This 5 tells us the order, that's 5, that's 3. We need to add up to 10. So what are the options? So we 1, 9 is an option. 1 and 9. Is it an option? 1 and 9, yes it is. 2, 8 is not, won't be available in this cell. 3, 7 is also not, I mean, aside from the fact we've got a 3 in here. And 4 and 6 are gone because the 4 is not available. So in fact, this is a 1, 9 set joined by a 6, 7 that are adjacent. That's correct. 6 is tells us the order. This 6 here. And now, almost everything is leading us to try and figure out what box 5 is. So all of these are essentially adding up to 10. Now, if we think around the options that are available, we've got 2, 8. So not 1, 9. 2, 8 is available. 3, 7 and 4, 6. Available on this line here. Let me just see if I, if I place these digits would actually help. So we need to place a seven and an eight. And we don't know the order still. Okay, this will have to be more complicated, unfortunately. So this could be four or six, or two and eight. Two and eight doesn't actually work, because if it's two and eight, what would this cell be? So this is the 6 and 4. This is from 2, 7, and 8. In fact, we know it's 1 of 2 or 7. That's got to be a 3 or 8. Um, the 8 here tells us this is a 7, 3. 
we still need to place one and nine. They're eliminated from here, from this option. That's an eight, that's a two, that's a one, that's a nine. Seven tells us that's the eight, two, eight, seven. And we're at the home stretch here now. Two. Eight, seven. We still need to place three and nine. Three goes in here, nine goes in there. This is adding up to a 10, that's a seven. And we're pretty much solved this puzzle. We need to place six and three, three, six. We need to place one and whatever this is, that's a nine, the eight is contiguous and if you've not made any errors that's the five superb puzzle Dodomus I've really enjoyed this one I mean it's quite involved because essentially you have to complete these two boxes you have to pencil mark them it's not really until you figure out row one and what's going on in box one that you're able to actually just unwind this whole puzzle but what a beautiful puzzle it is. I really do hope that you enjoyed it as much as I have. And if you do enjoy XV puzzles or German, no, we haven't yet had German whispers here, XV puzzles or Kropke dots, there will be more in the outro that you're about to go to next. Um, hope to see you all back tomorrow.